Okay, we are back in Overhaul Mod Factorio World for episode 77 of my 248k run on Ribbon World uh, with, with kind of a large train grid, okay, large compared to the other tiny terrible train grid, and a new power grid which we kind of span up because that's the thing we're going to need as well. Um, a bunch of time has passed since the last episode, we kicked through a bunch of research, so let's quickly talk about that. And yeah, we're into the exotic Kovarik stuff now. There's there's quite a lot of this to do. I think we're going to be short on exotic science. And um, we did get the first level of modules tech done, so that's nice. I was also kind of working on bot speed a bit because we're doing bot build things and this doesn't use exotic science. So we're probably going to go kind of back and forwards between these, depending on whether or not we have enough exotic science. Um, yeah, and... We've got a lot of things to do. In between, I was also playing with playing with a bunch of ratios and, and made made some builds, which we're going to have fun with, and then did some more ratios and made some more builds so we can upgrade some modules, and then did some more ratios and made some more builds, and then did some more ratios, and I don't think we're going to use this one because I just don't need three belts of fiberglass, but I've got a blueprint for three belts of fiberglass, so cool. And then none of those were actually the, the purple-yellow science that I actually needed, but we, we all still also need... All the prerequisites first so yeah we've got a lot of things to stamp down um, the this train station here should have another train arriving um, have we have we transferred all of yet yeah. so we're gonna go through the process of getting these actually uh, that one definitely wants to stay I'm um, getting getting this new power plant online uh, we kind of want yeah we've set this up with a bunch of tanks with pumps that aren't powered and Hopefully that means that all the this lead coolant will just evenly distribute itself um, between the tanks around here at the top. Um, I can use bots for this, I guess. And so each of these stellarator engines will have you know enough enough coolant to go around in a loop. Um, this one was powered; it's fine. Everyone still has all the stuff. Sure, everyone still has all the stuff. Um, actually, we can do this from the map on oh, the other train is here, so that's nice. Um, yeah, we'll now power these pumps, we'll kick this coolant into the build, and um, we've also not powered these pumps yet either, because, yeah, because this is a more stable way of getting enough coolant in, like if I'd, yeah, because I'd actually messed this one over here up and already powered this pump, and that means that this stellarator already has all of its lead coolant, and if we'd also given it fusion products, then things would be going around in a circle and kind of kicking these things out of balance although i probably don't need more than a couple of thousand lead in each tank but we've got more than that so that's nice and yeah got got this rail grid out here to the lake we're way out to the east we've got to go all the way back over here to do the other stuff and we're you know deconstructing one of these other power plants that's nice um let's go let's go get this power plant online because we are kind of using nearly all of it uh we've got all of the k3 cores built KA3 cores built, which we'll, we'll go and look at again briefly. Um, the stellarators are also using a lot of power because, because that's how maintaining fusion reactions works. Um, I think all of those have their things. Are you still... Yeah, you still are pumping that stuff out. Uh, you don't need to go to the station anymore. And in fact, this station doesn't need to exist uh, because we just needed one load of lead once. And yeah, down here we've got a train station which brings in the lithium from the star engine lithium thing. Uh, do we want to... Oh, actually, we don't want to power these yet, do we? We Because we need to make sure that we pump all of this stuff. Okay, so we have pumped all of that stuff out of these tanks. Have these tanks more or less evenly distributed themselves? Uh, yeah, enough is fine. Uh, we can... Actually, I'm not going to do... I'm not going to do that with house bots because house bots will take a while to get here. I'm just going to do this with my own bots. Actually, I'm going to... Do I have these in my inventory? No. Okay, so we can have house bots do this, because they actually will take a while to get here. Um, and at some point, I can just, like, take these off again and unpick... Like, the tanks don't need to be here long-term. These extra power poles don't need to be here long-term. This is just a way of kind of spreading out the lead coolant um, between all of these different systems. And this is, yeah, this is a, more or less the same blueprint as we've got in the other place. We'll cache a bunch of hot lead, we'll, we'll pump the hot lead that's at like one and a half thousand degrees or whatever um, through normal pumps and back into the builds, and that's all kind of fine. 
And I think as soon as bots turn up and bring all this stuff in, we should have all of that power grid added to the network. Um, yeah, this, this we don't need. All of this stuff can go away. This is not a train station that needs to be here long term. In fact, none of those power poles do either. And I don't even think I need to be here at all now. Um, I think we have set up enough of this that it all just should work as soon as these power poles turn up. So cool, we're, we're going to wander away from that. We're going to pretend that that is done because uh, we've got other things to do. Uh, what was the first thing I was going to do? Oh yeah, that was that was the other thing, wasn't it? Yeah, we were going to... I've got kind of this list of things to work through. The first one is down here. we got quite a lot of things to do today. And um, this is all... All these guys have got power poles. All of that lead is going to go into the build. Um, oh, wait. The, quite an important one is this power pole over here, which is going to power the pumps that put the fusion products into the pipes by the stellarators. That's kind of a big deal. And this guy hasn't actually got enough stuff to complete a cycle yet. Uh, but that's fine, because it's going to complete a cycle soon. And then whenever it does, like this, this recipe is like, thousand, no, something like a hundred thousand protium. It's way more protium than we need to just do a bunch of stellarator things, so that's fine. And then this, yeah, this tank is getting deliveries. And this one is, yeah, this pumps from this tank into this tank, and then this top tank is the one that's circuit conditioned to the station requesting more lithium. And then, yeah, we've got, we've got a lot of lithium there now. We don't have, we don't really have the giant lithium buffers at the, the Stellaratus like we used to, but we do still have, like, this thing over here. Do we need all of these beacons? I reckon I can probably save some of these beacons. I reckon we can probably not have all of these beacons at this point, and we can just save on our beacon headroom, because we're kind of still struggling for beacon headroom. Um... But yeah, we've got, we've got like a ton of atomic fusion lithium over here, so that's fine. Um, the other thing I realized, which is why we're back over here where the, these other stellarators are, is, yeah, so the, there's this ceramics over here, which I also might not need all these beacons, but whatever. Um, but these ceramics require steam, and the steam we're also making from this lead coolant. Um, and this lead coolant we're bringing in from trains, from... Uh, where is it? It's all the way... Where's the starter lake? All the way back over here. Yeah, here. here uh, here's the train supply for hot and cool lead coolant. Uh, so, so the workflow at the moment is... A train, this train here, goes from way out in the east back into the middle of the base, where I do some fusion, and then I train back out hot and cool lead coolant to use for the ceramics, which is right here, and here's one of the trains doing this stuff. Um, and I think that's actually pretty silly. What we're going to do instead is check for trains, run across the road, and then I think we just want to have another one of these stellarators. Uh, how much of this do I need to grab? Uh, just like uh, I need the I need the in between things as well. We're gonna have another stellarator that also just does the. Ah, uh, we don't have the pipes on the other side. You're fine. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have another stellarator here that does the hot and cool lead for the ceramics build just over here because that's gonna be you know much easier. Um, have we? Uh, okay, it's because they're in, they're in here. Uh, was that the right way around? Proteum, also proteum. Um, that's, that's messed up. That's not what I should be doing at all. Oh, because this, this thing went the wrong way. Uh, yep, yeah, fine. I've got to have this thing here. Okay. Uh, get rid of that proteum. That is the incorrect proteum. That one is proteum, and then... That one should be lithium, and these things are lined up, and we just need to bring in the coolant. Okay, and it's also got power from somewhere? Sure. Um, we are past the point of caring about exactly how all of that works. Are we going to have... We're going to have a bit of issue jumping the cool coolant over the lake. Never mind. Because um, what we want to do is... Uh, I think... 
because this is also more coolant than I want here. Like, I don't think I want this train station here at all, which means we don't need these pumps. And we want to pump in here. But also, I think I want to try and... Uh, yeah, there's not a combinator to remove here, but we can also just remove this circuit condition. So any... And there's also not enough lead to bother visiting. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. I think that's just going to be a thing that we deal with between episodes. We're going to come back here. You going? Yeah, you're going back to the cycle cool lead. Uh, we're going to come back here at some point later, and we're going to plug these things into these fluid supplies. Um, it's probably a thing that's better to do from the map. Um, yeah, because we've got pumps in here. We do need we do need a decent amount of lead coolant coming through here. I, I've just got to, yeah, I've just got to process all of this out. Uh, I've also got a ton of ceramics. So maybe I just let this run down and don't worry about the ceramics. Um, then where is, how are we fitting this in? Can we fit this in? Maybe. Uh, this one is the, which, which of these am I even lining up at this point? I'm apparently lining up the, the cool, this is the hot lead. Um, the hot lead goes in this pipe. Yeah, I think this is, I think this is a thing that I presume I have enough ceramics for everything to not break for a while. That one does not fit. And then, we've still got, we've still got like, what, what's that, 240 thousand coolant in there so i reckon we just let that run down and then come back later between episodes and plug this into this dedicated stellarator that also kind of needs kind of needs this to be powered um and that's also not going to run until we give it the coolant but never mind maybe we just broke ceramics it's probably fine uh we're going to wander away from that that is a task that i am calling completed um even though you know it's kind of not what was the next thing i was going to do um yeah that's right the over over here and this thing that i am in the middle of deconstructing this is this is one of the old power plants actually have we got the new um yeah so the new power plant is fully online we're up to we've just slapped another 24 gigawatts onto the power grid yeah because because this this power grid over here this this thing last time i said can support more than 12 it can actually support slightly more than 13 um but 13 is just not a good pattern for copying blocks of stuff around the place uh, i don't like it whereas this also this one is just kind of specialized and won't be fully utilized anyway like this guy's entire job will be making hot and hot lead to make steam to make ceramics and that's all the stellarator will ever do which is you know good job him i guess um yeah there aren't many bots in this bit of the network and there's only 18 they've got this entire rest of what used to be one of my fission reactors that we're not using anymore tearing it down and um, we've still got all the steam engines in here that's nice we've still got we don't actually have any steam in here. Yeah, we've got we've got all this steam. And the thing is there's there's kind of this messy setup where there's like tanks over here and then somewhere over am I standing on the tracks? Let's not go into the map standing on the tracks. Um somewhere over here there's this steam, uh, which is kind of run out. Uh which all this build does is make train fuel. And we've also got quite a lot of train fuel. Uh but we've yeah, all these all these chests are also just full. But I think we're going to kind of run out of steam. So we are back here because this bit is actually doesn't have radar coverage. And I kind of wanted to be in here to, first of all, swap these pumps around. What is what is this one shaking? Um, yeah, okay. So we're just going to take off all these circuit conditions. Uh, because, yeah, these, these, these things can pump in here. That's fine. So now all of these tanks are pumping into this network. This thing is also empty, but pumping into this network, which is fine. Where does this tank... Why are you not getting any steam? You should... You should get steam. 16,000... 26,000... I mean, yeah, well, ah, because all of these... Yeah, all of these pumps 
are also circuit conditioned. Uh, getting stuck on stuff is cool uh, because I didn't want to let the steam out of these turbines. But actually, at this point, we want to uncircuit condition all of these. Uh, get this tree out of the way. I'm going to uncircuit condition all of these pumps so we can let the steam from the power grid. Uh, that we're not using anymore because it's power because it's being deconstructed and it isn't even power grid We want to pump the steam out of this thing and into this tank Over here. Can I fit a silo over here? Because if I can fit Do we even have silos at the moment? Um, because if I can fit a silo over here, then That's actually happens to be accidentally pretty nicely spaced, isn't it? So I think we could go and do that. Um, where, yeah, we want to be over here to drop the silo in. Um, and yeah, one of the, the thing is we're not, yeah, we don't have radar coverage over, I think it's this spot. I think this spot we have radar coverage over, which is why I could deconstruct all of this stuff. Uh, this spot we don't actually have radar coverage over, so we had to like visit that directly to turn all these pumps around. And yeah, there we go. That's why I couldn't just do that from the map. Um, over here, was it here? that we could, yeah, I don't have a silo because we checked that already. Ah, I can queue one of these silos and uh, not there, here? Ah, uh, yeah, so this silo will let me pump all of the steam in and then that means that I'll also be able to do a better job of deconstruction planning the rest of this thing that I don't need anymore. Uh, we still don't have like a long-term plan for steam here. I guess I'm training it in, but also the only thing this does is train fuel, which is pretty important, but I've also got not just these buffers, but a bunch of other buffers around the base. So that's another job we're going to call done. Um, what's next? Oh yeah, that's the thing that was next. Um, let's, let's swing past. This isn't actually the thing that was next. This is the thing that got built in between that we have since finished that we're going to look at briefly. Um, yeah, this is the, this is the fully built module core as we got we got 10 of these guys fully running oh we did we did research the the variant of this recipe that doesn't need exotic science where was where was that tech uh this is ka3 effectivity three yeah we got we got ka3 effectivity two lots of numbers in my mouth in that um so we don't yeah we we don't need to exactly what i just said we don't need the exotic science over here so this this KI three energy build has been moved to the main base. Um, I would prefer that this tank would be full. Maybe I like redo this slightly with another one of these on each side because I think I've ratioed this specifically, and all these guys are happy and running. But I would prefer that this tank would fill up, um, just because that would be nicer. Maybe I don't really need to bother though. Like this tank is, this tank is slowly filling. All these guys are. I think also. In the blueprint and last time half of these were on around the wrong way and i noticed that when i looked at why the station wasn't working and kind of chuckled um the the station is balanced enough it's fine things we're not going to worry about too much um are the things to do yeah working our way kind of back towards the main base um why bots don't have a silo bots should have silos that should be that should be in that rubber port do you not have... Ah, no, it's bots lacking jobs. Okay, bots missing bots missing jobs is fine. Um, where do we want to go next? Next, we want to go to red and green science, build research fuses. We want to go over here. Because there's some other stuff to poke around here. Let's actually go back to the main base and check that we are not running out of any particular kind of science. Um, we are running out of purple science? That is a thing I was kind of expecting. Uh, it, it, that's been an issue for a while, and then I realized that like we are planning on going back to purple science when we get enough. Like we need, we need a lot more inputs to be able to build the much larger purple science. But the purple science is currently just struggling for. 
yeah, it's got rail, it needs, it needs these intermediates to be building faster, which is a thing we can just kind of slap in, so we're going to slap in some of those guys and some of those guys, we'll get some upgrades there, um, these guys, I think we also need some more furnaces as well as productivity modules, and all of these we can do kind of negligently, so we will, uh, speed module 1 to speed module 3, not even really paying attention, um, to whether or not I've got belt throughput issues, but like this, this red belt isn't moving, so if I upgrade all these speed modules, these guys will just run faster. This belt looks like the furnaces are stone brick limited. Uh, we have, I hope we've built a ton of red chips now, hopefully that's all going better. Um, and all these guys can also just run a bit faster and then we get more prod mods and more furnaces and hopefully more purple science, so hopefully that does a thing. Um, let's actually check on the red chips because I did also notice that, yeah, these guys, the ones that are fully beaconed, are dropping into ingredient shortage occasionally, which is not great. And I was looking at this and I think, I think for the moment the ceramics inserter is keeping up, which is the one I was wondering about, but also the, the one that's the issue is the plastic and chips inserter. So I think we are going to have to redo this with just like one request just maybe two requests just whatever but stack inserters uh for the ceramics and also for the green chips and plastic oh well uh what we're going to do about that in the meantime is clip out some number of these modules in the or some number of these beacons in the place where we have concentrated beacons and put more of them in other places so that we are distributing yeah so we have beacons, fewer beacons on more assemblers, which will hopefully then make the ones that are currently inserted limited, less inserted limited, and then boost ones that could be going faster and aren't. And do we have... These chests are actually not full yet. Like, having having two trains of full of red chips is nice and fine, and we like that. I, I would also like all of these request chests to... I mean, I guess it kind of doesn't matter, as long as both of those trains are full and ready to go somewhere, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, so we are back over at the Research Fuses node, because I had a couple of things that I wanted to swap around here. Uh, because this train used to be um, taking lithium and protium to the power plant stations. Uh, we don't need to do that anymore because we're making power, we're making protium on site, and we're making lithium from a star engine. Um, so I think all this station needs to do... Like, do I need... I don't think I need this at all. I think what we do is... You just go to manual for a moment because we're going to mess around with this. Um, I don't even know if we're going to have either of those two stations in that way anymore because this station really wants to be requesting the lithium that we're making at the star engine because because we can do that now um where is is it please atomic lithium is this yeah good good job making lithium alphabetically sortable so I can find it. Cool, fine. Um, so this train is going to be in the way until we get it out the way. Uh, this train is going somewhere else because this train already has a train stop limit. Oh wait, no, this train isn't actually at the station. Uh, cool, so we kind of need to get all this fixed first. So I think what we want to do is, yeah, this, this protein we don't need anymore. Uh, and we're just going to kick this protium into here. These, this, this protium tank will just be here's protium for research fuses. This, these two don't need to exist. Uh, this is now, this is now, yeah, a, a flush protium from the entire system. And um, protium is basically free. It's fine. Um, yeah, then we can swap these two around and swap this guy around and remove this circuit condition and add some more circuit conditions and only bother doing this when where's my atomic protein fusion stage atomic lithium uh, is less than again like 200 i think that's more than the power plants got i think i set the power plants to 100k but whatever and then we're going to also pump 
this actually it probably even works better with the other one, doesn't it? Not a huge deal. This is this is also just research future stuff. This is not a huge deal. Um, so this train doesn't need to be here anymore. This train doesn't need to be here anymore. This train doesn't need to be here anymore. This yeah. So now we've got lithium supply from the star engine, which is fine. Uh, things yeah. All all four wagons of that being pumped into these two tanks, which pumps into this tank, which controls the station. Uh, we've got this proteum doing the research fuser things that it needs to, and then the proteum feed also goes into the other places where we're doing research that it needs to. Um, I don't need this lithium anymore, do I? Uh, yeah, so I think we just... I think we just get rid of this lithium station. Uh, what do I have? Do I just have a lot of train fuel? I do have a lot of tra um, train fuel. Let's give the train fuel to... I don't really have a place to put this train fuel. Do you not have... You don't have a train fuel box. Okay, uh, we can fix that by giving you a train fuel box. And then I can give you some of my train fuel to clean the stuff out of my inventory, which is nice. Um, let's actually just have bots deal with not that one. That is the lithium station that needs to stay. This one over here is the... the uh, cool, my bot's fine. Um, so yeah, so we're going to run down this lithium. This is... Uh, yeah, I think what we're actually going to do is we're going to take off this pump. And, because we're also not really running down the fusion tech at all much at the moment. Like, we're kind of doing some stuff with it, but it's also kind of moving slowly. Also, we took out the beacons. Also, we just have a ton of fusion tech. Um... I mean, we're doing a lot of stuff with the fusion tech now that the Ki-3 beacons and cores are online, but we kind of want to run down this lithium supply, and then when we run out of this lithium supply, we'll put this pump back in, and then hopefully not forget, but never mind, maybe we do, it's fine, and then the other thing I was going to do, and I don't think I've set this up yet, this is... This is not connected to the other things I was going to connect it to. Um, so I need kind of a lot of wire for this because I kind of want to connect this. Does it need to be the pump? It doesn't need to be the pump. It could be any of these belts or anything. Um, is that true? It's not quite true. Um, yeah, we're going to continue with this plan to run this circuit condition all the way over to these two pumps uh, to only run when, yeah, this, this is fine, um, run when fusion tech is less than, like, I don't know, 60,000? Um, are we, we are getting the combinated version of that, which is good. I've just noticed how much I've got there. And we've got quite a lot of it. Um, so the idea is, yeah, we don't we don't produce this proteum unless we have a shortage of fusion tech that we're fine for. Um, I'm still not completely convinced this is going to work like this. This research fuser will still always produce fusion tech if it gets the stuff through the circuit controlled pump. Um, but also, it's kind of important to not let either of these things fill up. Oh, because you are... I do actually... Oh, no, I got the lithium, and I've got the lithium from over here. And that's fine. This guy's still also just running. Okay, good. Um, although, I wasn't expecting this tank to be so high. Like, this... This... This deuterium, of which we have a lot of it, um, is all coming from this train that brings it from the different star engines that from which we are capturing byproducts. And we're not capturing byproducts from the lithium star engine because it just doesn't like it just doesn't make enough byproducts to bother capturing them. We just we just avoid those. Uh, but the star engines to the west that are making blue and red chips go pretty hard, produce quite a few outputs. I think what we're going to do is, I do, I do not have speed three modules. Um, I also don't have cool. Um, are we in, we are in the, the, oh no, we're in, we're not even in the main grid. Um, okay, I kind of want to speed module this more, uh, because, I mean, I guess we've also got these tanks down here to, to case deuterium as well, but we're going to eventually get around to 
wanting to not be blocked by having too much deuterium because otherwise we won't make semiconductors because all our semiconductors are made out of water. Uh, what was the... Okay, next thing to do. we got a list of things to do today. Um, somewhere down here is a thing that I broke that I need to fix and it was kind of the plan to break the thing. Um, but along with moving all of the beacon core stuff way out to the east, or kind of out to the east, um, is, yeah, this thing, this thing here, actually, I was going to check how much, yeah, we are running down the exotic sites, it's a bit of an issue, we need to launch more rockets um, to get the stuff we need, but also, one of the things, the other things to do in regards to the stuff we need is, yeah, these guys are also just stopped, we launched a couple of rockets, and um, this process here, these guys are not going to be a train anymore, um, yeah, okay, fine. Let's have, I mean, I am in the main bot network now, so we can just get rid of a lot of this stuff. Um, we can have the rest of, uh, like, a lot of, I don't need that much train fuel, especially as I'm going to get train fuel from here. Just continue to have train fuel. Sure, that's fine. Um, yeah, I don't think we can do, yeah, this was a train station that was bringing the KI-1 beacon fluid on the other place we were making it to this process next to the rocket silos that also needs it and I don't think we do that anymore um, but I think it's going to be pretty easy I think all we do I can't fit a pump down here uh, but I can fit a pump actually I don't, I don't need to make a pump down there we can just do yeah this is this is going to be fine uh, we are going to because um, this fluid is actually pretty easy to make if I can find it uh, wait, it's not, it's not made in an assembler. Um, I actually need one of... I don't even know if I have one of these. Do I need to handcraft another one of these? Um, we're launching the rocket. That's exciting. Uh, we are launching a space science rocket. Uh, and we are also... Okay, so we're, we are struggling for yellow... For purple science, which we just boosted. We do have a bit of yellow science. We are also struggling for space science, because we don't have this stuff on these buffers either. So I'm pretty happy that... Overall, the base is kind of balanced. We just need more stuff. Um, yeah, that was what I was doing. I was going to find the K1 data center because it's the one that makes the blue fluid we need. I suspect I don't actually have one of those in storage and we're going to have to go and handcraft one of those. Um, which also means we can't set a recipe. But what we do want to do is request in. Uh, this one is crystals and green chips, I believe. And we're just going to request the stuff in. And we're just going to make this fluid here. We'll fill these tanks. These two tanks are going to be made way more than we need. It's fine. We're just going to like not even bother about changing the stuff. Um, and so, are bots complaining about... Yeah, bots are complaining about not having that core. So, uh, actually, I could have, yeah, we could have done that in the same place with kind of the same system. Uh, I'm going to come back here. We're going to set this to manufacture the item we want, uh, which is all stuff that we've got a lot of. Uh, this should give us the stuff that we want, and then we can... We're still getting some concrete delivered. Okay, now we can handcraft this thing, because handcrafting is still a thing that we can do, you know, 120 hours into an overhaul mod run, that's fine. Okay, so are those all... We've done the train, fuel steam, we've done those things. Yeah, I think it's time to go and do some more builds, because we've got builds, and we've got to go and put some builds somewhere. Um, do we do we cut... Have I already cut the stations for these? I have not cut the stations, and we kind of want to run these down so that there's not so much for the bots to move around. So we're going to discontinue these RCUs, because these are like, this is a little RCU build, it's fine, we need to get more stuff done than that, um, it's using, it's not using the mod beacons, can I even use mod beacons? I can use seven more mod beacons, uh, but also I did see that the red chips build we put down was also complaining about not having beacons, so let's cut out those ghosted beacons, so that, oh yeah, and then, this network doesn't even have bots, because this is a logistics network just for moving the red chips around. So I guess we've got to go there as well. That's a thing we'll do in a moment. Um, these ones want, yeah, green wire, mysterious energy crystal. Make a bunch of this fluid stuff. Actually, I haven't checked. I'm probably fine. Like, I don't even know how... 1,010 seconds. 
Uh, I'm going to need more than that, aren't I? But I think I'm still going to be limited by... Because this isn't just about how much computing power I've got. It's also about how many basic space data cards. And I don't think... Especially with the RCUs that I should go and build. I don't think I'm going to have all of those. I don't think I'm going to have enough RCUs at the moment to make enough rockets to get enough basic data cards to actually stress this thing. Uh, but I think we... I think that's the thing we come back to later. I think we're going to need more of this. We can still just lodge a request that in. It's going to be fine. Um, so we've got, yeah, we've got a couple of blueprints to build. Where's the RCU's one? I planned out this thing here, which has not just assembler threes, but also some nuclear assemblers. So we need to go and get some nuclear assemblers. We also need a bunch of modules and including efficiency modules, which is kind of an interesting thing. It's got space for 16 beacons. I only have beacon headroom for seven, so that's also going to be cool, but we just need to go and pick up a bunch of stuff. Actually, where is the build train? Let's get the build train here back as well. Um, I don't think I'm building anything. I mean, the build train was in this big grid because we were building this power plant, which is now done, so it's fine. Let's go and check that, that power plant is, in fact, completely good. Are we seeing... We are seeing hot lead coolant in all of these tanks, and the numbers are... Like, I probably only need, like, 3 or 4k uh, in, e in, in each of these systems. There's, like, a thousand that the Stellarator will process at once, another thousand for a buffer, maybe a thousand for a cycle for these guys. Uh, we've got we've got more than that. It's fine. And then all of these tanks are empty. So yeah, these these things can go away. That's another thing that I can do more of between episodes is fine. We got yeah, we got some other we got some combat spider drones over here because I just wanted radar coverage and wasn't doing anything with these spider drones. But I think I also dropped Maybe I didn't drop a radar in here. I meant to drop... Oh, no, there was a radar. I did drop a radar in here. Yeah, it's fine. Cool. So, moving on. Um, I need a variety of things. Yeah, let's actually just do this with bots. Um, maybe I'm building more power plant later. Maybe not. Whatever. Um, I needed, for this new blueprint... I've actually got more landfall than I really want. Um, I've got concrete and steel and red chips and things that I was using to make... I mean, three accelerators, yeah. I'll, I'll just drop those back in the network. They'll they'll come back to me at some point. And then there were a couple of blueprints that... Big Grid, Logimall... This is an old smelting blueprint that we don't need anymore. Um, I don't think I'm going to be making ceramics, so we can get rid of that blueprint. Maybe the lights blueprint. This might save us a bit of inventory space. Um, I'm not making star engines today, but I'm going to keep this blueprint because finding it again afterwards is going to be a pain and yeah let's go and request a yellow belt what do i want yellow belt for what do i want yellow inserters for maybe they turn up and builds probably not um i need to request myself uh the nuclear assemblers are in the fission stage nuclear assemblers uh yeah 20 20 of those and then also get me a bunch of i forget how many but i did need a bunch of those i need a bunch of these speed modules as well. Why don't I have upgrades at the moment? Interesting. Um, do I want to give my speed... Because I've got a bunch of speed 2 modules in my inventory. Um, I saw that signal change just as I ran over. Why no speed module 1s? Did I, did I clip the inputs off the module upgrade? I did, I clipped the... Yeah, this was def this was a thing we're doing anyway, because we're also going to definitely tear down this build. But one of the consequences is we're not actually making speed modules at the moment, which means we are not upgrading a variety of things that we should. I mean, we're still we're still making speed modules in the RCU's build. This is, this is actually also entirely a build we also just want to go away. So we are going to active provider all of these things. All of these things are things that we want in the main mall so the logistics spot spending large amounts of time pulling all these things back to the main base is fine and then also it'll go slightly better if we also just pull all the stuff on belts off the belts so that bots can also 
yeah, so that you can pick this up with... So that Logibots can transfer the vast bulk of this stuff back to the base before we alt all these belts and, and then they can... Yeah, the Logibots are better at moving large numbers of stuff around than Construction Bots. Um, also, I've got a lot more Logibots, so that's fine. And yeah, this is also... Why is this train station not receiving fuel? Should it receive fuel? It's probably fine now we've got the fast bots. I think we're just gonna... Uh, oh yeah, this is this is the wrong train station. This is a train station without the icon. Um, sure, we can just get rid of that. Is fine. It's a day we are simplifying things. All of these stations can go, and then this power pole can go back in the original place. Um, so yeah, we're kind of disassembling this build at the same time. I needed all these modules that I don't have, but never mind. Yeah, we're gonna do. We'll do this build with speed twos, and we'll upgrade it to speed threes later. Um, what else do I need to pick up to make sure I can do this RCU's build? Um, lots of lots of power poles will be fine because we'll build. We'll be building it in a grid. A lot of prod mod threes. Um, I probably shouldn't be surprised about needing that many prod mod threes. Uh, can I? I've got prod mod threes there. This. Oh wait, I don't need to worry about prod mod threes either because they're also a thing that the builds just get because we just ship them over to the depots and the build train. So that's fine. Um, so are these the only things that are not standard in? I actually need a couple more. Everything else is standard. Everything else we can just find in... Everything else Everything else that's in that blueprint will be being delivered to the different grids. And then where's the, the module upgrades one is... Yeah, also takes a bunch of stuff. Also takes a bunch of speed modules. Um, and I was going to put this down here where we're taking the RCU's build out and then realized that it it ended up kind of small. By the time I'm doing this with all the nuclear samples, it's kind of small. So I might see if I can... Can I cram this thing in, like, here? Uh, yeah, so let, that's just gonna... We're just gonna slap that in. Let's go and have a look at it. Uh, we're gonna have... We're gonna set this thing off because it's gonna be in the logistics network, and then we're going to just go. And so, yeah, so all these things are... This is this is the thing I kind of ratioed in between. It's got all these nuclear assembling machines, and um, because they've got you know kind of fantastic craft speed, they do take nuclear fuel, and so craft speed seven kind of a big deal. And um, also minus sixty percent energy consumption because we've kind of got these speed efficiency modules inside the thing and then also some efficiency modules in the beacons, and that means these guys are not going to use as much nuclear fuel as they otherwise would, which I think is probably a good thing. Um, and then these things are all kind of ratio to, like, I looked at how many of these things I needed, how many prod mod 1s I needed for the prod mod 2s and the prod mod 3s working towards these Stokes 3 modules. We've also got module frames being built with logistics requests, uh, which also was happening in the module upgrade build that we just discontinued, so that's fine. Maybe we need some more charging stations over here? Um, maybe... I, I don't think these are going to... I don't think these are going to need all that many resources. Um, but also there's a bunch of circuit conditions. Because one of the things about this is, like, we spend fuel, then we end up with empty fuel pellets. And so these provider chests are not just going to receive prod mod ones, which we're going to move around the place to do the rest of the build, and they're also going to re receive empty fuel containers. And so as a result, these chests aren't limited at all because I want these assemblers to be able to put their empty fuel somewhere, even in the case where we've got enough prod mods. So these inserters are all checking... Yeah, the input inserters are all checking how many prod mods we've got. So if we end up with enough prod mods the input inserter stops so we don't make any more, but the output inserter continues so that we can continue to drop fuel out if that's em empty fuel canisters, if that's a thing we need to do. And then all of these have, yes, yeah, slightly, slightly different circuit conditions. Um, this, this one over here requests a bunch of different stuff because we're making prod mod 3s and also the Stokes module threes, uh, which which I did speed mod. Why did I speed mod these? These things build super fast. They have a six second craft time. You guys don't need speed modules. Um, and yeah, and then we are. It's not this input inserter, isn't it? Yeah, it's this one. That we're gonna make. You know, just a thousand. We're gonna make a thousand Stokes three modules eventually, probably. And um, this. 
yeah, so so this inserter here does check that we've got at least 40 ProdMod 3s before we start converting them up to Stokes 3s. And this actually won't... Actually, it will it will recycle ProdMod 3s, because ProdMod 3s are going into other builds, and the various bots will take from storage before they take from this passive provider. Um, so that, that's my modules upgrade build. And this is like a whole lot smaller than... Like, this replaces... Um, where is it? This entire build over here, which is kind of emptying now so that's fine and that means we can kind of just get rid of actually let's wait for yeah we kind of need the bots to get rid of we're gonna leave most of this i mean there's still a couple of active providers that are putting things in belts but basically this this entire build now um is replaced and this entire thing actually only makes oh there's a lamp in there that i would rather leave um the new build we've dropped down, which is much smaller than this one, um, actually builds actually builds modules at twice the overall rate. Oh, I don't have I don't have efficiency modules anywhere. That's going to be a thing, especially as I'm building things with efficiency modules now. Yeah, so crafting speed 1.25. That's pretty standard for an assembler three. It does enough stuff. We generally like that as a crafting speed, um, but instead for all of these things here, yeah, all of those things. Um, instead, for the because all of all of the modules that are typically production speed limited, like 15 seconds per productivity module, I need a lot of them. Uh, we went for the nuclear sampling machines because with some beacons we can get those up to craft speed seven. So this this thing here is about double the module output of the build we were just previously looking at. Uh, you guys. You guys are already done, and you're not getting inputs. Why Why have you stopped? Uh, because... Oh, because you're just not getting things delivered? Yeah, you're just not getting things delivered. I didn't think... I think I wanted more than that. Uh, what are you guys... L yeah, so, so we're going to see if... Like, I was wondering if I could swap these two guys to efficiency modules. Um, but yeah, through, through the power of nuclear assembling machines, and beacons, we've got these things up to crafting speed 7, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, and I can make them go faster if I want to. Like, this is still, all these efficiency modules are still kind of set up for fuel efficiency. Like, we've got minus 60% fuel consumption plus 100% crafting speed. So we're like more than four times as fuel efficient as we usually would be. Uh, we're dropping half items of UPS. We're like bouncing between 60 and 59 in a bit, but that's probably still fine. So yeah, if I want more modules later, I can still just re-beacon these as full speed, but it's it's fine. That's all done. Uh, the bots are pretty busy. So let's go to a different grid and build something else. This was actually, that build was the one I was going to do second. I was going to do the RCU's one first, but um, we were happened to be right there and we could throw it in, so we did. Bots, yeah, bots, bots with lots of jobs. Uh, where are we? Oh yeah, I decided I was going to do... We actually need to go here to swap these beacons around again. Um, wait, did I... Did I actually pick up the chest here with all the stuff? No, okay, fine. So let's, let's go to that station uh, with, with a bit of time. Because we actually need to get the stuff to do the build, as it turns out. Having having construction items is a good idea for being able to do builds. So we'll grab this chest, uh, get rid of this thing, float over to where we were going. And where is this build train? Let's also send this build train to the first large west grid. I think that was what I was calling it. Um, the thing is, we, yeah, we then, because I think... I think when I named it that, I was expecting to break this grid fully vertically. Um, whereas it turned out that uh, due to tier 1 beacons, we could actually split off these logic grids without breaking the very large grid, which goes all the way out here. And yeah, the plan now, I think, is going to be... I think, like, we're making, we're making a lot of green chips here, we're making a lot of blue chips here. Are we... are these blue chips... Yeah, this is, this is what I like. This is what I would like the red chip space to be doing. Just like full chests of chips. Full trains of chips waiting to take them to wherever they need to go. That's that's a happy build. Uh, maybe this means I can get rid of some of these beacons as well. 
because uh, I would like to take beacons and put them on the RCUs. Um, this build here is... I also just don't think I'm making quite enough red chips, which is also why we're beaconing it differently. Yeah, so we're making all these kinds of chips over here, and I was wondering whether or not I was going to build, like, RCUs kind of over here on the way back to the main base, but I think what we're actually going to do is build RCUs, like, even... Even, like, over here or something? Maybe over here? Because... I may next to this thing. We are next to this thing. So my bots can move all these beacons around into this configuration that is hopefully slightly better. Uh, yeah, so hopefully we've spread around that workload and none of these guys are in Serta bottlenecked anymore, but we're also just making more. How many? 241. I've got nine beacons to play with for the RCU. It's fine. Um, yeah, I think we're going to do... Because I am still, I am still kind of working on a blueprint that does purple and yellow science at the same time, and then it struck me that I could also just build RCUs like somewhere over here, and then also do space science and purple and yellow just on this bit of the grid somewhere, and um, maybe even further out here. Now we can go like. Is this a... This is actually a Logibot build, isn't it? So I do need to break the grid again. Maybe just... Maybe just, like, right here. Because... This... Okay, this... This train station here needs train fuel. And it's kind of going to struggle, but maybe we can do another... Maybe we can do another... Yeah, I think that's what... That, that's going to be... Actually, wait, wait, no, there's another train fuel there. Are these... Are these... I think this... Like, I'm trying to figure out if I... If I take away these rubber ports and these rubber ports... Okay, there's also this train stop that's gonna... Yeah, okay, never mind, let's go over here. That's gonna be... Rather than figuring out how to break the rubber port and not sever the fuel connections to all these train stations, which are all Logibot fueled train stations, um, we are instead going to just put... Where am I going? Where am I? I'm in the place, yeah, I'm in the place that I wanted to be. Cool, fine. That's that's normal. That's what we expected. Um, yeah, so let's get this. Yeah, I can do this with my bots. It's probably fine. Where's the us use build? Um, and I don't have... Okay, we're going to turn off our bots and have the grid bots just get rid of all... Oh, they're going to be slow at this as well, aren't they? Okay, we're going to turn my bots on and just do this as well and just be sad about the amount of wood that we are collecting. Um, okay. I still have going to say I still have a combat shotgun. If I'm going to get rid of the wood that way, it's going to be a whole lot easier to get a couple of wooden chests rather than shoot through a steel chest. Um, and yeah, bots. Yeah, all these guys, this was not necessarily a fantastic use of grid robots, but never mind. Um, wait, I've got, yeah, these grenades. These grenades are why I should be other way I should be getting rid of trees. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so we've got most of the trees out the way. Um, my bots are still on. I've still got... Okay, so I've got one wooden box and a lot more wood than I need, so that's fine. And then we can drop... Where is... Yeah, this blueprint. Uh, for which I don't really have a train station plan yet, but that's probably okay. Uh, was I... I think I was planning on... I was playing with the idea of doing this in the same robot grid as the purple and yellow signs, but I don't think we bother with that. I think we, like how much space do I have to play with when I'm breaking these robot grids off? I mean, quite a, quite a lot, but I think this, the, the RCU build is gonna be wider than that build. So let's just start by slapping in a couple of train stations somewhere they'll fit. And this is, yeah, so these, these trains will be coming from the direction of things we want, so that's fine. Um, that was not the right button. It's also fine. And, yeah, I think we can copy this much of a thing, figure out where it's going to go. Uh, is it, how much space did I actually leave here? I had, um, yeah, I had this other blueprint which is the train station chaos mall blueprint. Okay, so we're going to do... Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to get rid of this thing. We're going to put the chaos mall blueprint 
somewhere. We don't really mind where. Can go there. Um, okay, let's actually disconnect these things before any trains turn up and deliver the wrong resources here, because I don't actually know that I've changed the train station names. And we actually don't need... Oh, we do need we do need both of these if we're going to put train fuel in this network as well, don't we? So we're going to need... Uh, oh, the blueprint doesn't have train station names in it. That's that's good of me. Okay, um, I'm going to need four... Okay, let's leave that one. I'm going to need four train stations here. I'm going to need... Uh, and I did... Yeah, these aren't connected, so that's, that's fine. We don't need to worry about trains turning up and being inconvenient. Uh, we are going to need some blue chips. So let's have a train station that receives blue chips. Uh, we are going to need uh, all of these on the circuit network. They're not actually on the circuit network at the moment, are they? Okay, so they all are now on the circuit network in a kind of a weird pattern, but that's fine. Uh, we are going to need some red chips. We are going to need some... This one is already... Oh, these, um... Yeah, this is, this is the... We don't want... We don't want that weird circuit condition. We just want a bunch of red chips. Like, I don't know. It's 30... I mean, 10,000 is already... Let's just get a 1,000 blue chips because... Because... I mean, us use will use a lot. This is the green chips train station because we've already got that filter there so that's nice um, I should have my bots building this thing uh, we don't need as many as we need for the red chips so we're just going to crank that back a bit um, is this one train fuel one of these I think was already train fuel uh, maybe I've removed this one was already train fuel uh, which I assigned to red chips cool uh, maybe I should have paid attention to the filters that I'd already set that would make all of this easier for me but never mind i'm also going to have like way more train fuel than we need um because we've got yeah these these train station requests pulling the stuff in from all over the place so we've got a green chips train station a blue chips train station a train fuel train station and uh this one needs to be then the red chips train station which i also think did we set green chips to twenty thousand? seems like i uh, know oh it was two thousand wasn't it uh, no, the blue chips, we, blue chips were a thousand, green chips were, yeah, actually this is way more than we need, we're not going to need, we're not going to need nearly that many, I mean a lot comes in a train, but also RCUs are a thing we're building kind of slowly anyway, so 5,000, 5,000, yeah, so that's kind of ratioed, um, all of this is getting built, bots are complaining about not having stuff, that's fine, and then we can kind of slap... We don't yet want to connect all of that up. Um, hopefully, this... I mean, nothing is delivered here yet. I can just move all of this around if it doesn't fit. But hopefully all of this fits. And looks like it... Yeah, we've got enough state. We've got enough space for another train station on the other side. That's fine. Um, yeah, we can just slap this blueprint down now. Um, we don't want all of these beacons yet because we don't actually have enough beacons to be able to put all of those down. I think we've only got, yeah, we've got space for another seven. That's another six that are blueprinted. So that's going to do, you know, things that it needs to. Uh, the house, yeah, we're still on the main network. So I don't really mind dropping these request chests down because they're, they're not, they're requesting things that aren't actually going to be in, oh, other than Okay, so this pulled train fuel from the main network, not a big deal. Um, the bot, the logic bots aren't going to find... Oh, I need another train station for nuclear fuel. Uh, and it can't be the chaos station, because I've got to put the spent fuel back on the train. Um, so I guess we need two train stations down here, sure. Uh, actually, three if I want to do the double... No, I don't need I don't need double station out because the like the RCUs aren't a big infrastructure thing like the other chips. We can just afford to have one train taking RCUs around the place. And yeah, okay, so that's that's talking myself into being happy with that. And then we're gonna get a bunch of construction bots over here, which we're gonna need to pull out of the network as well. Um, sure. Uh, yeah, so we've done the same thing here of 
we're using assembler threes with a bunch of beacons to make rcus because do i have i've already spent all my prod mods i don't have a whole lot of prod mods never mind um yeah we're using assembler threes so we can get productivity bonuses for the rcus but we can't get productivity bonuses for prod mods so we have well, for speed mods so we are instead using the nuclear assembling machines and we've also efficiency module these um these are yeah we don't we're not efficiency moduling efficiency beaconing these as much actually all of these are in the wrong place I've just noticed that all of these are in the wrong place because we want to be able to get beacons on this side eventually and and we've also had a bunch of nuclear fuel delivered because that's also just in the main network never mind um forget what i said about these request chests not pulling things they didn't need from the main network it's fine um that yeah that clipped off everything we didn't want and then i think if we put it here uh, let's move it down. Yeah, let's put it here. This should mean that we have enough beacon space when we get more beacon allocation to fit more beacons in here to boost these guys to keep these in rate with... Yeah, so this is why there are a lot more RCUs, a lot more assemblers on RCUs than there are assemblers on speed modules because there's a big difference in craft speed. Like usually, usually it's one on speed modules to two on RCUs, and then the prod mods change that a little bit. But the biggest factor here is that these nuclear assembling machines are super fast, and they're not even yet. Yeah, so all of that's going to get built. Then we need to figure out where these other train stations are going. Uh, I'm happy having just two train stations in, so I guess we can uh, first of all. Yeah, do the same thing where we remembered we wanted to have more space for beacons on that side as well. I'm, I think that I think that leaves us enough space for train stations. Then we need more robot ports and stuff like that, so we'll do that in a bit. We can copy and paste this stuff. There looks like it's pretty good. Here looks like a place. Um, bleh, not like that. Uh, yeah. So these guys can go here and here. Uh, line all this kind of stuff up. And yeah, we can now have. Yeah, we can now do some like this going. Uh, realize we don't have the parts. Cool. Okay. Um, we do have the sig we do have the signals there. This stuff is all lined up. Yeah, we kind of want to keep this on the main grid until we get this build done. Uh, so I think we're gonna need we're gonna need more charging stations. I think that, like more charging stations and stuff like that are things we can get around to building later. I'm gonna tack. Are these bottom assemblies even powered? I don't think they are. I think this is a flaw in the blueprint. Like I was gonna tack more power poles in here anyway to power like robo ports and robo ports and more charging stations. But also just might need to actually is that enough beacon space? Because there is enough, yeah, this blueprint is designed to be able to beacon this crazy hard when we get the beacon allocation. Uh, is that... That one's, yeah, this is going to be the last beacon that hits 12 assemblers. The next beacon is only going to hit 8. So I think I'm fine blocking that beacon space. Um, sure. I mean, yeah, this is, this is a pattern that is kind of wild. Uh, we will eventually be able to get eight beacons hitting each assembler or each nuclear assembler which is even crazier and then also have every single one of these beacons hitting 16 assemblers so that's nice and efficient i like it it is good we don't have the beacons to play with yet but we will soon and then i should have just been doing this with a copy thing um let's just keep uh do i need that i don't think i need that many charging stations because these things don't have particularly large material throughput. Um, I think we're going to have... Yeah, like, I don't even... Yeah, unlike unlike the other kinds of builds that are... Hey, let's... We need to be... Like, there's the, the, the blue chips and the red chips that are, like, shimmying vast amounts of resources. Like, Logi supplying copper into the middle logistic supply of green chips and plastic at a huge rate and um, the rcus are more about construction speed limits and because of that i don't think i need to worry about having nearly as many 
that's not symmetrical with the other ones, but never mind, they're slightly closer, it'll be fine. Yeah, I don't think I need to worry about having nearly as many charging stations, because the bots aren't going to be spending that much charge, probably? I mean, these things are still going to be... What's What speed did we end up? Oh, four? These guys are not even... Oh no, crafting speed 10, number of effect sources 4. Crafting speed 4, I mean, we're still pushing out a speed module every second and a half, which on one hand is super fast, on the other hand is... It's not all that many green green or red circuits for bots to move around, so I think we're fine with that. Um, yeah, all of that needs to line up. That oh, We do need... We do need... Yeah, we need, we need a couple of train stations. Uh, can we just copy a pattern... And the answer to that is going to be yes, because we're going to grab all of this. We're going to grab, let's grab the radar as well. And we want to not actually have this train station name, but it's probably fine. Uh, I don't actually have train stations. Cool. And then we also not want, don't want to have this item request also cool. Uh, but then the other train station we want, we can actually grab from... Where is it? It's over here. It's this... Not that one. That is the... Yeah, that's the... This is the train station that takes the things to the research fuses. It's... This train station here, which is tangled in with a bunch of other, other stuff. Cool. Uh, this much of this thing... Is the train station that wants to go... We can line up the other one. Um, here. And then some of these things we don't want. This does not want to be have red chips at all. This wants to be... I think we've already got a train supply of us used somewhere. So we just set it to that one. Um, train limit 2. It's already got the train limit, which is fine. There's no, there's no circuit control on this, because I don't think we're doing that here. Um, this is... These are weirdly lined up. Why did I... I guess this is when I copied in... Yeah, these these things... These things I slightly hate. Uh, we are just going to move these a little bit. Uh, so that they line up with... You know, I'm happy with, happy with how those line up. Like, they didn't need to be, but whatever, we're going to do that. Um, like, and yeah, I think also because these are RCUs, there aren't that many of them. We don't have to worry about this train station being like in the middle of this thing rather than towards the bottom to worry about transit distances or that because the logibots are just not moving all that many things uh, but we have yeah we have the uranium fuel request we have bots not having a lot of chests uh, i don't even think those are standard things that are in yeah those are not standard things that are in the standard setup oh we've also pulled yeah okay so we actually have to visit that train station because the way we shuffled things in and out of those storage chests was not fantastic um he's already got train station down there okay fine uh yeah that's this this guy can actually have that entire section to itself there shouldn't ever be another train going in there doing that stuff um they can power... Are these... These ones here are not powered. And then these boxes here have the wrong request. But also, things that shouldn't be in the network yet, so it's probably fine. And then... Yeah, okay. Let's wander ourselves back to that mall section. And yeah, here's that, that other little train arriving is probably the nuclear fuel train, because it has to go... Does it have to go quite a way? Maybe it was waiting for... Ah, uh, it's going to be stuck there until we build the rest of these things. Cool. And then these guys also need to be powered. Uh, so we can slap that in like so. And then we need... Yeah, all these all these prod mods I noticed were just sitting in the storage wagon of that train. And then all these construction bots and logistics bots are still hanging around doing whatever. Uh, yeah, then we need to go back to the main to pick up more chests. Uh, once we get this build done done we can then rip out a bunch of these robo ports to break off the grid and then connect up these things and then we should have hopefully a lot of rcus um so yeah so the issue here is like this setup is not really designed for me to change my mind about what i'm building because everything that the bots bring back just go into this wagon which takes stuff back to the base and instead of that we would kind of rather prefer that all of these things, nuclear assembly machines, um, be 
Is there anything else they want? Uh, chests. All of these things we would rather prefer be in the supply rather than just hanging around on a train. Um, do I need... Actually, do I... Did I put... Did I put filtered storage on this thing? I did not. We still need to do the filtered storage check thing because all of these boxes are going to pull... Like, they're immediately going to dump everything they have into the network, which we will break off the other network. That will be fine. Uh, we've got train... Okay, this train fuel does not need to be here. Um, but then we do need... Because we've got the train fuel boxes over here. Uh, there's going to be other beacons in here, but I think there's space in behind these charging stations. Yeah, so I think I think at this point we just take this train back to the core. And then this train, which I did manage to click on, can go back to the build. Uh, and yeah, let's, let's check on the other builds we were tearing down. And we do also have another RCU build somewhere that I think is out this way somewhere. How is this blue chips doing? This blue chips is still... Yeah, these train stations are empty and then they're just slowly working through their stuff because I took away all their beacons. Diligent little things. Um, you guys are waiting to go some way. Yeah, and yeah, the... Ah, that's going to be... That's going to be an issue, yeah. Uh, only 30 seconds. Interesting. Um, I'm going to need to relook at the schedules again. But one of the things that is different is the old blue chip stations had two. Yeah, we're providing for two wagons, and then most. Yeah, the, the new ones have four. I've updated the chip the stations that are requesting blue chips to be four trains, but this is not going to be doing that anymore. But it's fine. Yeah, because they're all. Um, this is yeah. This is, oh here here's the other RCU station. I was trying to find the other RCU station. Here it is. Um, I think we leave this one running for a while. I mean, this is still... This has still got quite a few RCUs just kind of lined up to go. Uh, then... Yeah, I reckon we just leave this train... We just leave this train running. Because uh, this this station will already only active... Oh, well, it's not. It's not set up. It's not set up at all. This thing is... Um, it's not actually set up to do a thing at all. Interesting. Um, RCUs greater than, what, 380? And that, uh, let's actually do all 400. We'll make sure that by the time a train gets here... Uh, oh no, wait, that's why it was disabled, wasn't it? Um, but we've got another train station for these to go to anyway, so it's fine. Um, I actually need to check that this combinator is doing the right thing. Um, let's actually just slap one of these here. And then we can check whether... Yeah, so this is something of RCU, so that's fine. Um, so, yeah, so I think the, the reason why I... If I can find this thing again. This one? No, that's not it. It's the other blue chip station and then over here. Yeah, so the reason why this train station wasn't checking the circuit condition is that if I didn't have enough RCUs here, this station would just sit in the mall because... The, the place the RCUs are being deposited is also this just this chaos mall. And so if I didn't have enough RCUs, this would just block other trains from, from arriving. Uh, whereas now we've got the other thing over to the west where we can put all that stuff. So we can have that filter on the train again to only, yeah, to only make the close RCU station available if I've got RCUs. And we are low on... Space science, okay. Um, not not entirely surprising, given that we kind of need to do the RCU's work thing. Um, this guy is also just not running. Why are you no run? You have green chips. We're gonna have to go and look at that guy again. Um, disappointed noises. I don't think I hand fed things and mess things up. Um, green ah yeah okay obviously that's why it never actually worked this request wants to be green wire not green chips uh we are requesting green are you still getting stuff delivered no yeah we are requesting green chips to the to make these in the other network but yeah um and in the meantime we have built up a fair amount of this stuff um but we are also just struggling for we've got some chunk of exotic science now because we're just still waiting on space science oh well things we just need to go and do um do i have 
Autobots complaining about. Um, yeah, these chests, I need 89 of these things. Um, I will... I have already blueprinted the other ones, haven't I? We're going to take more of these anyway. Um, and then we're just going to jump in this train and head back over to this build, which is over here. Uh, like, like so. Uh, take that off. I did send, yeah, I did send the build train back because that is, that. I mean, that's why we're not complaining about the inserters and power poles and roboports anymore because, because we took at all those things. Um, so... So I think this is going to be the last thing we do this episode. Let's check how whether or not... Yeah, let's... Maybe maybe the second to last thing, not sure. How are we doing? We have... Yeah, we have 25 of these Stokes 3 modules, which are not my favorite module. Um, I mean, they are 12% productivity bonus, but at 260% energy consumption and 90% pollution and 60% speed, I didn't have a great use for these. I guess I could put these in labs. I'm kind of past the point where things being expensive is a big deal. And how many labs do I, I've got like 50 labs or something. So I would need a hundred of these modules to bump me from 20% lab productivity to 24% lab productivity, which is, I mean, it's probably worth it, but I don't think I'm going to bother. Uh, mostly I want a big cache of these things, because when we get to these bigger modules, yeah, these the, the technology of big module we have currently unlocked, which is just the first tier, um, takes six of these tier three modules and then tier two takes six of the tier okay tier five takes six of the tier four tier six takes six of the tier th five which is which is a lot so i'm just going to want a lot of these modules just to use but also i need a lot more of that exotic matter because i've got to use the exotic matter to turn it into modules as well fortunately the exotic matter we get in exactly the same way of like building the RCUs, launching the rockets, um, having this thing make enough of this fluid, which I'm going to need to do more of, uh, which I can't beacon because it's not an assembler. Uh, we also need it. We also don't have, uh, yeah, 100k exotic science. Um, we need, we don't have enough. Actually, to be fair, there is a there is also the exotic science sitting around in these request chests. I think I ended up with across all of these request chests about let's go and stand in the middle of this build so bots can build things um about all the way back across the ribbon um all yeah i think there's about seven and a half thousand of each non-beacon science over here um kind of in each request chest so that means we've got uh okay 8.5 uh 34 34-ish, 33, 34-ish, uh, which is about a third of the exotic Kovarik, so we've done about a third of the manufacturing we need to, and I don't remember whether this is a thing I talked about having done last time or not, and um, this, this, actually I was going to say we don't need this one, we might actually need this one, space science might be in this train, um, but yeah, because this train kind of goes to the yellow and purple science, which is currently kind of close, and this, I've, I've, yeah, the beacon science used to come here. The beacon science now goes over here uh, into its own distinct little chests. And we've got a lot more red science than yellow science, but that's fine. That's kind of what we expected. Is this all built now? Um, why are you guys, you guys should have train fuel. Oh no, because you didn't have inserters. Uh, do you guys even need, do you need stack inserters? I don't know. You're going to have stack inserted. It's fine. Um, and then we need to change this setup to not change request red chips, but to instead request, uh, let's say, 200 RCUs each, which is 20 stacks. And then we're also going to have the stuff that's also in here. Oh, wait. Um, the other. Uh, let's just move this around. Let's find the one that I changed this one. Uh, all of those have the correct request. I think we are going to... I don't think we're going to do another build after this, but I think we are going to slap another thing in. I also... Now that I've got several of these stations... What is this even... Ah, this is a problem. Um, 
I need to figure out what this condition needs to be. Because now we have several of these stations taking nuclear fuel to different places and i've all got to ratio like the the this the spent fuel is going to be here the all this fuel this is way more fuel than i need um for a while probably i mean these guys were going to do a thing whatever okay um i think we're going to do not necessarily do one more build after this but we are going to think about the three we are going to think about one more build. Um, we've got... This is the train fuel stuff, isn't it? Okay. Uh, we're going to move the train fuel one down here. And then we've got five, which is fine. So we can have some of these be... Okay, I've got green chips. So you guys are going to do green chips. Green chips. And then we're going to have this one be green chips. And then we're going to have this one be red chips. And then this one over here can be red chips. And then this one here can be blue chips. Uh, yep. That's actually not enough. I do need another one, don't I? I do need another one for blue chips. Uh, okay, whatever. We're just going to make a mess. Uh, all of these were kind of lined up around the place, but this one can just go here and be like, whatever. So now we've got three chests of storage for train fuel, which is more than we need. We've got six chests of storage for each kind of ship we are bringing in we are complaining about not having i'm not having storage chests i kind of need those but also storage chests are not a big deal and um, we can we can still start manufacturing stuff without storage chests. it's fine okay so time to snap this guy off the grid uh, do we need to i don't think we need to break this one we definitely need to break uh my train is in the way this is the rcu's train this is the rcu's train uh, these are uh, these robots are probably going to clash with the ones over there. Uh, so we need to snap all of these guys off the grid. Uh, yeah, we're still connecting. I think we're still connecting. We're going to take this robot anyway. Uh, we are. I mean, it's highlighting both of them. Okay, now we are no longer highlighting the other grids, so we are not connected, which also means we want to get. Oh, you know what I didn't bring? I didn't bring logistics bots. Um, I've got 10 logistics bots. That is fewer than you guys will need. And I might get some out of here as well. But this grid never really had all that many logistics bots to start with. It was mostly just construction bots. Um, so we've got all the construction bots back. You guys have got... 65 logistics spots. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna kind of struggle with that, but it's fine. We're gonna put these rails in here. Those train stations are gonna start to request stuff. Uh, we don't have we don't have the provider chests, but that's fine. We can go back here. We can find the build train, which is this one, and send this back to the build, and we can put some request chests on it and be fine. And then there was something else I was gonna do. There was something else. What was the other thing I was doing? Logistics bots. Logistics bots was the other thing I was doing. Oh, and I should also give these back to... Um, I'm still in the... I'm still in the grid that wants these. It's fine. We are still here. Um, this, These rubber ports over here can have... I want some personal bots, but... I want, like, that many personal bots. And now this grid has, yeah, a decent number of bots that it can keep constructing things with, and it's fine. Um, the, these defenses we haven't needed for a long while, but I also haven't bothered getting rid of them yet. Um, so, yeah, so we got... I think we're going to do one more build. Uh, one of the reasons why I was looking at putting the RCUs all the way over here is then we can also do, like, rock construction all the way over here. And when I was playing with the nuclear assembling machines and looking at how these patterns could work um we've got a green chips delivery at some point we probably also get why don't we have a blue chips delivery ah uh, why is this oh okay because we did take a delivery fine um and then yeah, so a train is probably on the way. It's probably fine. Yeah, when I was looking at the nuclear assembly machines, um, one of the nuclear assembly machines' recipes 
is a different version of LDS that is actually kind of crazy. Um, we get four low density structure out, the recipe is the same speed, it ends up using less copper than the vanilla low density structure recipe, and also doesn't need any petrochem, so we don't need nearly as much fluid processing. Um, so, uh, if I can find one of the... where's some um, request chests, uh, provider chests, where is... didn't I take... oh, you came back over here, uh, and passage to prison. Because, yeah, you're not, you're not too far away. Yeah, we can talk about the LDS in between. Um, yeah, this LDS recipe, I think we're going to try and use this. Because I was going through the numbers and figured out that I can't put productivity modules in the nuclear sampling machines. Not sure about the fission machine. Don't have that yet. Um, so I can't get productivity bonuses for this. But this still ends up using less copper per LDS than an assembler 3 with 4 prod mods in it. So... Uh, we're going to give this guy the request chest it wants and then tell it to go to the place where we want the request chests. Um, so because of that, uh, I realized that I needed... What were we looking at? We were looking at the LDS. I realized I needed a lot more... First of all, we still need a pile of copper, but I need a bunch of aluminium ceramic composite and a bunch of fiberglass. And so I came up with uh, this blueprint. This is way too much fiberglass. Um, this is like three blue lanes of fiberglass. Uh, I do not need three blue lanes of fiberglass. I am not going to be doing an LDS build with 30 lanes of copper. That is kind of silly. Um, but this ceramics composites blueprint, I think we go and build this. Um, I need like the fairly standard smelting stuff. I think the only thing I need in here that isn't already present in just standard grid builds, maybe some small power poles, which I don't remember if I put on the build train or not, and then also more nuclear assembly machines, which I probably still have, and then tier three furnaces. Um, oh no, small poles are in the standard build, so that's fine. Um, so the only thing I need is these mining drill are they fission stage? No, they're fusion stage. Um, these things. I need a bunch more stone quarries. And do I have... I don't know if I have rail or not. Maybe the bots have rail, whatever. Uh, we've already got 25 of those things. That's already enough. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to go over to... We're going to build this just by where the ceramics are. We're just going to go... Because I've got this, like, this area of build. I'm not really doing anything with it. Um, let's go check that. These guys are still complaining about not having the, this stuff. Is the train not here yet? Uh, where is... Here's the build station. The bots should have that stuff now. Ah, uh, no, because it's in... Yeah, because we snapped it off the grid. Yeah, we're, this isn't... We can't, we can't build these things anymore because they're in a different grid. Um, it's probably fine. As long as... As long as stuff is getting built... But we're just not getting red chips. Uh, do we are we are we making a lot of red chips? Okay. Ah, because we didn't we didn't set yeah okay so we didn't set it as a request station we set it as a provision station that was silly always check that your builds are running because pretty easy to get things wrong and then nothing runs and then you don't have any RCUs and you're like hey I'd like to launch rockets to get stuff and then you don't have them um, actually let's also check whether or not we've I think we can just check the number of bots to see yeah we've got almost all those bots free so we've almost certainly discontinued why are you guys stuck uh, okay I guess you're going to rich water that was a thing I was wondering about uh, yeah. Cool, good, good train planning. Rich water was also a thing I was going to do differently. Um, yeah, I was going to check on the RCU's build, which is over here, and has now run out of green chips, so we're not even producing the RCU's at the rate that we need to, never mind. Um, okay, so, yeah, the other thing about the ceramics build is this old build here, actually, we can discontinue this build as well. Let's not get ceramics in here anymore. Um, I guess we can take a bit of stone, but yeah, we don't need the ceramics because we're going to do this differently. Um, and then all of these train stations are also some of the first train stations we built. There's this weird kind of iron 
copper ore sushi thing. Uh, this can all this can all go. We can all do this better by making ceramics over here with this ceramics blueprint. Um, I need to get water and a bunch of stuff for this, don't I? Um, let's run it this way around. I think we're going to slap this down and talk about it. We're not going to plug it in this time because we're getting towards episode length. Um, but let's talk about a couple of things that this does. Uh, we have... Yeah, we have a lot of these stone quarries around the outside, which is pretty nice. This entire thing is belt fed. We get a belt full of ceramics in here. And then out the other side, we get a full belt of aluminium ceramic composites, which is pretty good. And I think this only needs to be red belt, but it's also a blue belt to jump this in. And then, yeah, we've got around the outside a total of four belts of stone getting made and then direct insert to crushers into aluminium smelting. And we're using the aluminium smelting version that is like worse for material efficiency but we don't care because all the stone is free uh, and just gives us aluminium doesn't give us any other extra output so we can just direct insert in here and then there's a bunch of normal beacons that control all the build speed so that all of this stuff is kind of like ratioed properly and yeah we eventually get this recipe is yeah two ceramic to three aluminium ceramic composites so we go from a red belt into a blue belt out but also um yeah, with a red belt in, this means we are using, we are creating and processing on site three red belts of aluminium, because that's the ratio, and also this aluminium recipe is, like, the ratio is not super great. It's not as good as, the, the purifier rates of throughput aren't as good as for iron or copper and stuff. Um, I think we need some more train stations here. That's going to be kind of some plumbing that we've already seen. This one is actually a belt delivered thing. There aren't, oh no, there are. There are the... This is, this is a build that stays on the main grid because all of these guys have their own little uh, drill requests to have them going, and they're already finished. They are already full. Um, so I need to bring some more materials over. I'll do this in between. We'll do some rail plugging in between as well. I think we're going to do more than one of these builds. In fact, we might just immediately copy it here as well because... Yeah, because I think I think this this build is probably good to replace the one we have in the main, um, but also I'm going to need more if I want to scale the LDS as well. So that's probably what we're going to get around to next time. Let's, I mean, I okay, we're going to do one last thing, uh, which is, do I have, I don't have request chests, fine. Um, we're going to go back to the core. This is going to be the last thing that we're disappointed about doing. We're going to go and get some provider chests, and then we're going to take the provider chests over to the RCUs build um, so that the RCUs can all be running. Uh, let's let's actually check that at least some of the RCUs are running. Where's my RCUs build? Um, yeah. And these guys are, are like clonking along at assembly speed 5.5, so that's nice. I might even be... I might even be ahead of... Do I have another beacon? I do have one more beacon. Um, I might even be ahead of where... I don't know if I have the beacon on me if I get there. Yeah, I do. Okay, fine. Um, oh, Logibots. Um, this is... Oh, yeah, because I was coming back to the core. Yeah, I was I was going to pick up... I was going to pick up some of these to take them myself, but also realized that I wanted more Logibots. So... Because we eventually want to get this up to much higher speeds, right? Like, that. that's the plan here. So that's going to be actually way more than we need never mind moving on um so we're gonna run all the way back over here uh over here uh to do actually let's go down yeah, let's go down here this is slightly closer and then let's not automatically go back to the core um yeah we're gonna run over there we're gonna take these provider chests we're gonna take these logi bots uh yeah in between we will maybe get some do some more research has I mean, what happened to the... Because I turned off the other RCU station, and I suspect that I've just made things... made RCU things worse. Uh, did I just go past RCUs, or have we just really not made that many in in the time we've been looking at it? Uh, almost certainly not that many. Where's... Where's... Where's my... Where's... Oh, here's my... Uh, so yeah, so we're probably fine. Like, this is this is a decent jump in the RCU production, I guess. I think we're going to be short of other rocket parts now. Like, this is this is probably the 
two stations doing everything fine new build on not online yet and then this is going to be the other build that i cut kind of ran out of stuff um so it wasn't producing anything and then this this here is going to be new build online new build isn't even fully beaconed yet new build is huge uh, we're going to get a lot of stuff it's good um in the meantime we're also going to just go back to embarrassing rcu build that we kind of like turned off maybe a little too early uh, we will deconstruct this thing so that all of all of this just stuff just ends up on a network because this already wasn't doing the things we needed it to so um when all those empty up some of these are empty already yeah sure all of this station can just disappear and then we've got more Logibot space that we can do things with. Uh, yeah, those are small numbers of chips that can also just go. And yeah, now we've got some space in the main that we can like put more things next to. Uh, these guys also, yeah, all those guys can go as well. That's going to be a thing. Um, yeah, let's just do those final things. Put all those boxes in. Uh, you are, yeah, you don't have, you don't really have all that many bots that are busy at the moment, but that's fine. Um, we should now be... Yeah, I put the speed module in because I put this beacon in because I kind of wanted to make sure that I had enough speed modules. And yeah, that's that's what we did today. We got a lot of beacons. We got a lot of space where we can put more beacons when we get more beacons. Uh, we're kind of working on tech. Hopefully rocket launches have continued again. Um, RCU production has gone up. We've got a plan for LDS stuff. We've got bots complaining about things we need in the ceramics build. It's fine. Uh, I need to figure out what we're going to do for this purple yellow science build and then also come up with a space science plan and also do a smaller fiberglass build. I probably only need like one or two blue lanes of fiberglass. Um, but yeah, uh, lots of stuff got built, did good things. I guess this is probably another long episode. Oh well, stuff got built. We're doing rail good stuff. We've got a lot of us used now. Hopefully, hopefully things are fine and going well. Yeah, good times.